Hey, this is Luke with the Android Guys podcast. I'm here with Scott. Hey, Luke with Android Guys. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing great. Awesome. Uh, we're going to do another seven things you should know. Uh, this is the series where we talk about an MVNO mm-hmm. uh, that is a mobile virtual network operator. Yes. Uh, an MVNO is an alternative, maybe. To uh, the big three carriers yeah. uh, for cell phone service. So we have our, our Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, mm-hmm. uh, and there are many other MVNOs, and it can be um, confusing. So we yeah. we started this uh, series as a way to kind of shed light on different carriers and, and maybe give you an idea of some options that are out there for your cell phone service if mm-hmm. you don't need um, everything that you know, one of the big carriers offer a lot of times with their service, they're going to give you features like um, worldwide uh, international roaming yeah. or some cloud storage service or f- a free, uh, free access to Hulu yeah. with your service. And there's a lot of things that, uh, you know, you maybe don't need in, in, the, in times where you're trying to save money. Such as now. Uh-huh. Uh, an MVNO might be a perfect option because a lot of times you get the same uh, service that you're used to yeah. without any of the fluff. And and a lot of times we're finding as we're going through this series, uh, you're getting the same thing you have now for a lot less. Yeah. So the things that they take away, mm-hmm. you don't notice. Right. Or for most people. Right. And, and really, as I've gone through these, some of these carriers have really... You know, I know what kind of coverage I get for T-Mobile, for instance. Sure. So I start to cover some of these mobile virtual network operators and think, well, for this much money per month, I bet you this might be a better option for me. Right. Because it's going to save me $35 a month. Yeah. And it, it runs on T-Mobile. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I know it's going to work. So that that's the one big thing to understand with MVNOs is they're using uh, the towers of one of the big three to offer you the service. It comes through them, it still comes through that MVNO. Uh, the, the billing and the customer service and all that other infrastructure is done through the MVNO. Right, but the service itself is provided by the towers of you yeah. know of Verizon AT and T or T Mobile, um, and then there's a couple other trade offs that maybe Mm. matter more to some people. Like sometimes uh, these MVNOs won't have a brick and mortar location. So you're only doing it online or some of them don't offer phones. So if you need a phone, you're going to have to get one from outright from a manufacturer or maybe buy one used through, uh, you know, a third party website or something like that. Yeah. Um, But all of these, you know, there's, there's plenty of options out there. So if, if one of these, uh, situations doesn't work for you. If mm-hmm. you really like to be able to go into a store, um, there's going to be an MVNO option for you there. Yeah. If you think about yourself as a consumer and maybe you've had a smartphone or two along the way, or maybe even, you know, you've been doing this, you've been in the game for a while. Sure. Think about where you're buying your phone. Mm-hmm. What Did you buy it at the store? When was the last time you went into your store? Sure. Did you buy your phone, you know, directly from Google? Right. So these are questions that you're like, yeah, you know what? Now that I think about it, I don't really – I'm I'm pretty smart. I, yeah. You know, I don't really need to go in and talk to somebody. Right. I pay I, my bill online anyway, yeah. so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. So Republic Wireless is the one that we're going to profile today. Yep. And uh, I've got some information I've kind of gone through to kind of break mm-hmm. down some things that you should know about them. Sure. So we'll start off the top. Mm-hmm. Uh, what network – does Republic Wireless use? Okay, so this uses T-Mobile's network. Okay. However, Republic Wireless is now owned by Dish. Interesting. And that is something that's going to come up here later as we discuss them. Okay. Um, but in terms of the network, it used to be a Sprint network, uh-huh. which became a T-Mobile property. Right. So now it's T-Mobile's network. Okay. Um. All right. So they're using T-Mobile. Can I go into a Republic Wireless store? No, you cannot. Okay. It is an online-only experience. Okay. It is something that uh, you will have to kind of 
pick yourself up by your bootstraps and kind of do your own work. Okay. And th- that is also uh, something that now, as we, I, again, I'm kind of tipping my hand here a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're not really going, you may not even qualify to sign up for them. Interesting. Okay. So why don't we jump into that right now? Tell us about Republic Wireless rate plans. So you need to be, and this is the qualifier here. This changes everything for a lot of people. Okay. You must be a current Dish TV subscriber or Republic Wireless member prior to May of 2022. Okay. So you're either in Republic Wireless or Already. you are a Dish TV subscriber now. Okay. To qualify for their service. That's kind of like a small print on their website. Interesting. So they do offer some different rate plans. Mm -hmm. They have a buy the gigabyte, which is basically for $20 a month for dish subscribers. When you look at the rate plans, it'll say that for dish customers, Uh $20 a month gives you unlimited talk and text plus one gigabyte of data. Okay. And then uh, you have Wi-Fi calling capability as well. Okay. And then for $10 more, you're getting uh, unlimited talk, text and data with 10 gigabytes of mobile hotspot. Okay. Uh, unlimited texting internationally. Mm. Um, and then they also have a $40 option with more data. And then uh, you pick up some other features like unlimited talk and text between US, Canada, uh, Mexico, some roaming okay. capabilities. So you do get some more there. So that's $40 a month. But again, you this is for Dish customers only. Right. So it's kind of a club that you're either in or you're going to have to sign up for their TV service. Right. To get these rate plans. And okay. if we're being honest here, these aren't that competitive compared sure. to other MVNOs that maybe use T-Mobile's network. Okay. So they also have two line options. Okay. So these are priced by the one line for $20, $30, and $40. Mm-hmm. But the um, two line plans are basically doubling. You okay. don't get any discount. So it's not a special for two lines. Right. It's just double the cost of whatever plan you picked. Right. Interesting. Okay. So that's their rate plans. Um, talk about, I guess, you know, the next thing is, let's say I, I have Dish, so that's fine. I'll, mm-hmm. I'll get the service. Can they th- can they provide a phone? <sighs> yeah, they do provide phones. Okay. But it's mostly a handful of Apple iPhones, okay. Some Samsung and some Motorola. Okay, so pretty it's limited. Pretty choice. limited choices. This is kind of one of those. There's a lot of kind of hoops and qualifiers here uh, for people. So when, right. once you get in, you say, "Okay, all right, cool. I'm down. You've got my interest. I, now I need a phone." Okay, so what if what if uh, I look at what they offer and I don't love it? Can I bring my own phone? <laughs> Uh, yes. Okay. Technically you can, but you want to check to see if it's compatible. Uh huh. And then you also want to check to see because not all of the phones are compatible and going to give you all of the features. So on their website, you can actually see a list of phones Uh that they will say these phones are supported, but not all of the features are guaranteed. Okay. And I'm not entirely sure what that means in terms of features, but it does, they kind of um, put that up as a qualifier or kind of like a a shield in front of them to sure. say, hey, you know, I've got a Pixel 6. Why am I having data problems or why, you know, I'm not quite sure what those issues might be, but they do kind of hedge, you know, kind of cover their butt a little bit by saying that. Okay. So uh, there's really only a couple more questions to mm-hmm. kind of give you a, a, an idea of the, the um, Republic Wireless Service. The data that you can get, um, you know, for the uh, whatever plan you pick, is mm-hmm. that 5G data? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, so there is a positive there. Right. Uh, and that is something that you know, some carriers, you know, might be a Wi-Fi only. Mm-hmm. Some might only offer 4G. This one does have 5G uh, capability. Okay. And then, so the last thing that we usually throw in there is if you hear this and, you know, you're intrigued. Uh, if you're going to go sign up, are there any kind of special deals? Uh, no, nothing obvious on the website. So y- if you do, um, 
look through a lot of carriers, they'll usually have like a page for like a landing page for deals or right. plans. Sometimes when you buy a phone through carriers, they might discount it temporarily. Mm -hmm. I didn't see anything in here that jumped out that I would qualify as, you know, a, a deal. Okay. So. All right. It, it's, uh, I wish it was more exciting. Sure. You know, this is one of the MVNOs where it's kind of like a, yeah, I mean. Yeah. It is what it is. Sure. Uh, it might be the right deal for you. I don't Yeah. Wanna... I mean, there's, there's that right person out there that has, yeah. you know, I, I think the big thing to take away from this is this really kind of only makes sense if you are already a Dish Network yeah. uh, subscriber. And they've probably contacted you. My, yeah. My gut tells me they probably tried to roll you into some maybe double play or right. uh, package that says, hey, you know, we provide wireless service. Right. So you've, you, you, you probably know about them if you are a Dish subscriber, but if you are wondering what is Republic Wireless, you've seen it. Right. Maybe now you know. Or maybe if you're looking for satellite service, yep. Dish has an option for for cell phone too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. So that's our that's our kind of quick look at uh, Republic Wireless. Yeah. Uh, thanks a lot, Scott. No problem. Thank you, Luke. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of the podcast. Thanks for listening. We appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, feedback, concerns, comments, anything, shoot us an email at podcast at androidguys.com. We'd love to hear from you one way or the other. Uh, Luke, if someone wants to get a hold of you, how do yeah. they do that? Uh, I am on Instagram and Twitter at Luke Gall, G-A-U-L. And I'm on Instagram at Scott Webster and Twitter as SWebster77. Until next time, thanks for listening. See ya.